All right, welcome back to the shop. Welcome back to part two of this uh, short series on gauges that you should own if uh, you're going to be buying and you know building gunsmithing, armoring a uh, an M1 Garand rifle. So what we have here uh, is a gas cylinder. Um, this one has the front side assembly and a stack and swivel installed. You don't always find them like that. So. This is a non-cut base, right? This is an original GI part, uh, and I picked it up just like it is. So, you can find these at gun shows, you can find them online, uh, you can find them on uh, eBay, but you generally don't find anybody that tells you what your cylinder gauge is at. So it's important that this cylinder is within military specifications, or within a proper specifications for it to function properly. So these three things right here are your gas cylinder gauges okay this is the go gauge no go gauge and what they call a field gauge so your go gauge should slide right in and it should should fit perfectly no problem in and out no problem your no go gauge should slide in you'll feel the shoulder um, of the gas cylinder and then it should slide just a little tiny bit and stop, right? Just a little tiny bit. Um, and your field gauge should not go in, okay? So let's try that, all right? So the, the, the measurements on these are, see if I can get this, 0.528, right? That is the, of an inch, that is the, go gauge and you just place it right in here right past let me see if I can you want to put it in past the threads you see a little shoulder right there right that's the shoulder that we're going for okay so you feel it hit and then all right go I can feel there's no wobble at all with this one, so it's not walled out. Okay, fits very well. That's your first gauge, right? Now the second gauge. Let's see if I can find the measurement on here for you. 0.530. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's kind of hard to see. The measurement is 0 0.530. Again, it's going to slide in. You'll feel the shoulder, and then it should just go a little tiny bit. Hear that? Is it hitting the shoulder? And then just a little tiny bit. There's the shoulder, and that's as far in as it goes. That's perfect. That is what you want, okay? Perfect, yep. Just a little tiny bit. You might have to wiggle it just a touch to get it past the shoulder. But once you do get it past the shoulder, it's only going to go a tiny fraction of an inch. Okay? It's hard to do looking through the camera instead of looking with my eyeballs. So, there you go. 0 0.530. That is exactly what you want. Alright, now this gauge. Come on, you could do it. Where is it? Point five three two. Can you see that? Point five three two. Now this one should hit the shoulder and not go any farther. It's actually having a hard time getting past the thread. Here we go. Did you hear that? Here we go. That's it. It's up against the shoulder, and it will not go in. You can't even you can't wiggle it in. I mean, it's it's tied up against the threads. So this is what you want with your gas cylinder, okay? And that's super important because your operating rod sits inside the gas cylinder, right? The barrel sits on top, right? I'll show you barrel sits on top now right at the bottom of the barrel right here there's a port right a hole 
and the gas as it taps off of the barrel comes down into the gas cylinder hits the face of the op rod and knocks it backward and that's what causes the weapon to cycle right so if it's if it's too wallowed out then the gas will blow around it, it will blow around the the head of the op rod and you will not get a good proper stroke and everybody knows how important it is to get numerous proper strokes so <laughs> there's another let me show you this real quick see the difference between these two sight faces right this one is cut and this one isn't so this is the end of the second video in this short series um, I hope this is helpful if it is please give me a like uh, you know give me a thumbs up maybe subscribe if you like messing with m1 rifles and um, if not then you know give me a thumbs down um, go down in the comments tell me you know how dumb I am and you know, send it to somebody that you hate so maybe they'll like it. Um, thanks for joining me here this afternoon. God bless America.